<laughs> Good evening, morning, afternoon, whatever it is, wherever you are. This is another edition of, I'm going to totally blow this, Woody, Gidget, me, and in this case, Hillary and Lisa. Yay, we've, we've got Hillary Burton and Lisa Michaels and the amazing Gidget with us. How are you guys all doing tonight? It's coffee talk. It's like butter. <laughs> coffee. Coffee. Butter. No. <laughs> Margarita glass filled with water. Am I the only one drinking coffee? Yeah. I was drinking coffee, but I told Mike I drank way too much today. I discovered simple syrup at Starbucks made with brown sugar. Yikes, that sounds pretty. Well, I was made decaf today by mistake, and someone still doesn't realize that they did that, but I was fine. <laughs> I would, I would drink fine. that. I have a cutoff, but I would drink that. Mm -hmm. No, nope, no. Nope. If you don't know, yeah. No, nope, no, nope, can't do it. Can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Would you know the difference? I'm in the middle of a 12 hour shift. I would know the difference. <laughs> yeah, I'm still laggy. Well, I fell asleep a few hours ago so yeah finally hit so anyway how's everyone hi we are all good how are you guys good. we are so happy to see you guys almost in the same room together yeah yeah her she's just that way it's like a bunk yeah. bed we're on yeah, the I, top I, on the bottom who's on the top <laughs> <laughs> How can we all be on top? Wait, I don't want to know. This is a family show. <laughs> well, that's taking a turn. <laughs> <laughs> if you really want me to explain, I guess I could go into detail, but it's probably better left unsaid. Okay, I'm top right. <laughs> Wait, no, I'm top right. But I'm top right. <laughs> we need a center square. We need to get a little center square here with like Paul Lynn to like be our mediator. Oh, right. that would be great. <laughs> I was going to say Alice, but, you know, same difference, really. You know, I, I had a I had a nun in in grade school that looked like Sam the Butcher, Alice's boyfriend. Mm. See? You're oh. right. You were right all along, Hillary. I Sorry. Right. I had the it doesn't make sense. <clears throat> oh. You're an alternate reality if you're not seeing what I'm seeing. By the way, totally it's off the, the OCD subject. In, in good form. <laughs> in this room. <laughs> I have uh -huh. something in here for you guys later. We're going to deal with this maybe in 20, 25 minutes from now. So something for Hillary and Lisa. They know what it is. I bet it's seeds. No. Oh, I lost. What, is that how we're financing Woody these days? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pass, pass my route. Put, put a quarter in here. Press play. <laughs> so we have the checkered hearts with us. This is so exciting, isn't it, Gidget? This is like totally 100% amazing. Yeah, we did. This is this this right here. This one is Lisa, and this one is Hillary. Okay. And this one. <laughs> There's Gidget, Mike. <laughs> These are all jumbled. I'm on the top right. I still. I'm here. You're there. Hey, That's this square is only big enough that. for the one of us. <laughs> the magic of the internet. We are like everywhere but together. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, this should be in the middle. This should be in the middle. Like totally. Um, we should. I should have made that a background. I was trying to figure out how to show the videos earlier, and I messed up everything and had to remake the chat link. Oh wow! Because I'm like really old and like completely computer illiterate at most times. That I shouldn't say that out loud because people are going to wait. That's okay. I ready. still have a good. I have a good five years on you. So however old you are, I'm old plus five. So don't worry about it. And those two are youngins. Yes. Mike youngins. wants to always be like the leader, so that's cool. We'll let you. <laughs> no, no. Me and Mike have known Hillary and Lisa for way too long, like okay. forever. Yeah. And um, before massive amounts of babies were born and massive as in four <laughs> between us. <laughs> <laughs> That's too many. <laughs> no, um, Lisa, I sent Lisa this cute little onesie with the Ramones and that kid is what, 12 now? Wow. Yeah. And 10 and yeah, 10. That's Phoebe. She's right here. Oh, she's, she's actually so going to be 11, right? In September. <laughs> Soon in September. I wow. I know. I totally forgot how old Maya is going to be. Oh, Last time I saw you two in person, Maya turned 18. Yep. Mm -hmm. And she is turning 27 next week. 
Wow. Mm -hmm. So is that allowed? Are they allowed to do that? No. Grow up on us? Okay. Not not even close. Didn't think not so. even, and it's really bad when you get a birthday present for a kid and you buy them an instant pot. That's when you know your kid is an adult. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But when they start so, cooking for you, that's that's where it all pays off. Right. So um I met them through Rodney mm. when I was working at the MySpace. And they had a little cute band called New Shoe that I was absolutely in love with. And it honestly, in my opinion, it's one of the only CDs I still can play from beginning to end. Nice. Yep. I put it in my CD player and that's it. I don't take it out till it's over. It's classic. And still. Yay. And it was one of the very first records that we put on the Woody Radio website on the front page. Mm, As by mm. this record, you can listen to it beginning to end. They made every list every year. Um, Hillary's been artist of the year and she was working with 40 million bands at once. Only 40 and million. Only 40. <laughs> <laughs> hey, keep it keep it straight, yeah. <laughs> That's so, the only show. <laughs> and I met Mike. Oh, show, right, yeah. <laughs> and I met Mike technically through them. That's right. And it was, wasn't it the Orange County Fair? No, no he went the year after us. But, no, but we were bonding like, over you guys. Yes. We, like. we, we bonded because of that group of friends that I met because of the fair. Yeah. Okay. And we did the Japanathon. Right, 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 right. I remember that. Yeah. So, and so the love that we have for Hillary and Lisa, whatever band they're doing, which is, this is the best incarnation yet. Yes. And everyone is so excited about it. Nobody can stop talking about the checkered hearts and remixing all those joy joystick songs was just brilliant. They yeah. sound awesome. Better we, than ever. We not only remixed, but we retract things. Like I retract a bunch of guitars and vocals and then Lisa um, added some, some new vocals too. Although her vocals were like, I had all the raw tracks and I went through every single one of them. Like, Oh my God, I hit my vocal. Oh my God, I hit my vocal. But hers were like, perfect from like start to finish so there was only like one I think it was like one or two things that you added right where I said can you double me <laughs> yeah because there was the, you know we took on some pretty uh hefty like masculine yeah. numbers right mm -hmm. right and so like I had probably the easier part so it, there's there's just a magic when you can I mean I double myself on a right. lot of songs so well and it sounds cool because it's like our voices when we double them in certain parts dependent upon what the um the key is we sound very close but different enough that there's a yeah. distinction like on good girls don't i double the low part which before and you can just it's just sits right below the track mm -hmm. so it's lisa but there's this little bit and then conversely on the other part you can hear her come in slightly below my track now which is like you know it just makes it that much more dynamic in my mm -hmm. opinion um, yeah, yeah, they do. They do spring to life. They just sound a little bit more lively. There's than a before. maturity. There's a definite maturity to the new CD. Well, and, and, and having Tom mix and master them as well, you know, and kind of, you know, was really it's, good. It, both of the new shoe CDs are still requested heavily nice. at the station. But when the Checkered Hearts came, everyone went, oh, my God, I didn't know it could be improved. And <laughs> I love it. And I, I still have all my new shoe stuff. I have my, my joystick bag. Yay. <laughs> but, it, but people say to me, they didn't think that you could improve and you improve something that didn't need improving. We didn't know that it needed to be done <laughs> and it was right. done and you made it wow. And it was already wow. Aww, there it is. Yeah, that's a classic. <laughs> Classic in my in my book right With there. The future. Uh, yep. Well, and this this one that we um, yeah, we have the signature on. Looks like we're ready to go to Hawaii. I know, right? And I all the different hair colors. Aren't we always always ready to go to Hawaii? <laughs> always, <laughs> always. So I had a really good mail drop one day. It was probably spring of 2010. I got two packages in the mail and I just thought this is probably the best mail drop ever. I got new shoes, hula, and I got maple Mars's galaxy land. Same day, same mail drop. I mean, you couldn't ask How for did you get them both on the same day. I just thought that Hillary and Rick were somehow conspiring. Cause you know, I don't know. It just, it was perfect. <laughs> mine were months apart. I got mine from Hillary though. He doesn't live that far from me actually. Mm -hmm. Um, 
he is a really nice guy. Mm-hmm. Yep. And that one makes it that makes his record even better is the fact that he is such a nice guy. And totally. You totally feel good playing it. And that's like the bonus to having have worked with you two for so long is that I love you both so much that there's a bonus to the fact that you are the most talented friends I have. Yeah. We'll send you the money. We'll send you the 20 bucks. Like after this. <laughs> no, no, no. Cause, cause I can't lie. Cause I bust up laughing when I do. Yeah. No, seriously. <laughs> I sat in Hillary's yard and listened to them sing together to, they don't know. And they know how much I love that song. And mm. I wanted to cry. It was so beautiful because I don't think they realize how much talent that they have because they're both very humble people. And massively talented. Very talented. Oh, I mean, <laughs> Hillary plays everything. What does she not play? Well, same yeah. with Lisa, whatever square I need to point to. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's upper right, right? What do you not play? That's a good question. Forget about what you can play. The The trivia question is what do you not play? Tuba. I, I cannot play the banjo. Ooh, really? That's probably. That's that's fine. Work. Thank you. I'm good. <laughs> yeah. And Lisa, what can you not play? <laughs> Anything to do with um, the violin stuff and violin not- <laughs> stuff. <laughs> you know, the, the stuff like <laughs> cello, viola. Yeah. yeah, that kind of stuff. Um, you... Although I was learning cello. I was oh, learning wow. cello and I was really down with that, but that didn't happen. <clears throat> Long story, I took some piano lessons, but I just don't have that gift. Hmm. So Hillary's always <laughs> in charge there. <laughs> so I was really impressed when I was reading that Hula album and Hillary plays every instrument and Lisa plays every instrument. I mean, you guys were a complete, complete self-contained package. I saw you guys live and of course you needed other people to fill out those parts but that was what was so impressive is that you guys really are a self-contained unit Mm -hmm. like a female white stripes with talent we just need boys to whip around us sometimes (laughs) ricky and tom (laughs) but yeah no my favorite moment was hillary at at one of the fairs playing the drums poor thing you know she's pregnant and we're playing well like the one song Ooh. it was that super grass song right yeah i'd like to what is that called i'd like to know is that even the title because that's what i call it strange too. one strange, strange one. one yeah 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 she kicked butt so yeah. she was pumping on our stereo pregnant wow i was allowed because i was i was only i was only a little like, da, 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 da. she's going crazy okay, but can you truly be only a little bit pregnant i've always heard that you are either a, yeah, well, yes or no I was very much pregnant, but with a little bit. So was only there little, you go. A little bean inside. How did you okay. play the drums and not have to pee? So I'm going to go out on a limb here and say, you probably never played drums. <laughs> <laughs> Do it for me. It's not synonymous with one another. <laughs> <laughs> but you were so pregnant and I was not so pregnant. Pregnant. I was a little bit yeah. yeah I was just I I realized I probably should have practiced more safety before having you rock out so much um can we oh, show off our toys now yeah okay go, ahead. You go first okay here's my toy oh he likes showing his jeans ass. Back. he's like look go. at my does it breathe fire too um at night when no one's watching. Ooh. Now, do they play together when you guys are together? Do you put your toys together? They have not yet. Not yet. We're, we'll probably go. Now, on. my toys, my toys are all horror characters from movies and stuff, and pop funkos. Mm. So nice. they they don't play well together. <laughs> <laughs> now, when I saw you guys live, I saw you double duty. I saw you both play with pop dudes, and I saw you play as new shoe. Um, I was blown away. I mean, yeah, that was a great it was like pop dude who, I mean, it was just like you with a couple guys up on stage Well, Tom being one of them. Mm-hmm. And it was brilliant. The, the talent that was around that day between every band that played at the um, OC fair was unbelievable. It was a great day. And I think that you guys were one of the big highlights. And Mike, you were there. Yeah. No, Mike was there the next year. I was there in 2010. 
And oh, the year before. And Lisa, you were um, about eight months along, and I was thinking you need a maternity guitar. They, they need to invent <laughs> something. <laughs> That's right. That was pretty big. But that, but again, even even then, you guys were on a big stage. You guys were arena ready. You just blew it away. Well, you know what's fun, or maybe not so fun. You know it's very unique, and and Lisa, you'll remember this when you're on that stage and you're playing and you're singing. And not too far from you are all of the food stands. You'll be yes. seeing all of a sudden you get this intense, like <sighs> fried smell of like fried Twinkies. And it's, like, <laughs> it's like you're trying to concentrate and you're trying to sing, you know, and all of a sudden your whole senses are just like, like something just threw right. like, yeah. fried food in your face. Mm. I was super distracted by by the visuals. <laughs> I was I can't believe you even brought that up because yeah, that was, that was all the hardest up. part about watching you guys is I could smell the funnel cakes because the yep. funnel cakes were right next to the booth mm -hmm. at the stage. Sure. Do you think that all of this food came from uh, the fact that there's so many animals and they were just trying to disguise that smell? Oh, wonder. Maybe. That's yeah. But the animals were further away, right? I mean, they weren't like. The elephants were pretty close. I oh, thought. the elephant was. Yeah, the elephant. Elephant, was. sorry. I never went and saw the elephants. I never saw any of the animals. I stayed at the yeah, stage getting sunburned. Yeah, I'm not a fan of elephants at the fair, but. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. That, the year I was there, 2010. Anywhere um, other than an elephant sanctuary or <laughs> wild land. Where they, where where they belong. Yeah. When, I, when I was there at the fair, that was the year that they kind of invented chocolate covered bacon, and a whole bunch of us. Uh, Adam Waltzmeyer, Michael McCartney, Dave Stevens, a few others were sort of passing around this bag of these chocolate covered bacon things. It reminded me of the seventies, just here, you pass along and you take it, you take a piece now, but it was but some other controlled substance, but that was the controlled right. substance that day. So much fun. I, I had a um, Krispy Kreme donut filled with chicken. No. Uh, it, was uh, gross. What is that? it was the grossest thing ever. It should be one or the other, but those two should not meet. It was meet. Krispy Kreme donut, no, no, and there was no, no, a chicken no. patty inside of it. Oh, no, but that's still a thing. KFC, I got a, a, a thing what? in the mail. Yeah, it's 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 a chicken sandwich with two donuts. I no. It's still a thing. <laughs> it's definitely a thing, but things aren't always good things. Right, right. <laughs> Chef special. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. No. No, I sat yes. up front and I was eating funnel cakes and feeding um, Lisa's kid and one of Hillary's kids. I kind of was bad I feeding them junk. <laughs> you guys were busy and you didn't notice and I wanted the kids to like me. So I was cool. Here, have some <laughs> chicken. Have some crap. You know, it's, yeah, it's like, ew. Chicken in a Here. Donut, kid. <laughs> Here, try it. Here. Ew, try it. <laughs> Don't no. tell your moms. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's really good. You'll love it. Yeah. <laughs> My goodness. So I have to ask a question and, you know, full disclosure, we're going to have you guys on my show in a couple of weeks. So full disclosure, you may hear the same questions again, but I've you know, uh -huh. got to ask you now. Um, when did well, you guys we'll be answering them by then? That's right. <laughs> Better with practice. So let's go for the raw answer now. Um, and we may have talked about this before, but how did you guys meet? I know it, you go way, way, way back. How did you guys meet? How old were you? Oh, okay. So I tell we the story too much. You get to tell it this time. <clears throat> so we were skipping through the grass at PE <laughs> in our favorite PE clothes. <laughs> Holding cans, just right. skipping, singing. We made up a song. PE is so fun today. <laughs> you remembered it. <laughs> I can't remember. Was it PE is so fun to take? No, we today, look for rattlesnakes. I'm <laughs> oh, sorry, today. I'm sorry. Don't be butchering my lyrics. <laughs> PE is so fun today. Yep. Today we looked for rattlesnakes, right? Is that it? Well, that would be your second point. <laughs> An early collaboration. Yeah, I mean that's that was our earliest collaborations, and then we realized it's like we need instruments, we need music. <laughs> <laughs> it just defaults. I don't even 
couldn't remember what class we were in, but health. Yeah. Health. Okay. Health. She got busted by her teacher. I did. I noticed you weren't here yesterday. No, she totally let you go because she had to listen to a go go's um, interview, which yep. she taped. So that was worth it. Yep. It's like that day of health. Who cares? She got right. a tape of an interview. So teacher knew. She knew. I didn't lie. I told flat out. I'm sorry. I'm not going to be here. I'm totally picturing you guys in rock and roll high school, like in um, coach um, oh steroids God. class, <laughs> dancing. <laughs> oh, actually, we did dance. We, we did. did dance. Oh, my gosh. Yes, this is a good story. This is a really good story. <laughs> <laughs> I had a big boa. <laughs> so it was junior high dance, and we decided we were going to go to the junior high dance, and um. Lisa bought this, it was a blue dress, but she had this huge big white feather boa. Oh, so wow. Yeah, so it hit me in the face. <laughs> I'm like, I'm going to sneeze. <laughs> it was going oh, out. Remember what I had on my face, Lisa? <sighs> Glitter? No. <laughs> Carlisle Moore. Yeah, 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 she did. Yes, I do remember that. Uh -huh. And um, my braces were glowing <laughs> in the... <laughs> the black light. <laughs> oh my god, yeah. That was so See, that funny. part wasn't as funny. But um yes, okay. that was okay. fun. That was fun. <laughs> so yeah, we danced. We danced. They played yeah. play the head over heels, right? Mm -hmm. I think so, wow. yeah. Lisa's got the Riff Randall hair going on. <laughs> so, you know. hey, and I match Mike's background. Oh, that's Have true. you written a song for the oh, Ramones yet? Yeah. Not yet. Not yet. That would be a really good song for you guys to cover, though. And Should pull up pictures it? from junior high? Do rock and roll high school? Do we have <laughs> pictures from junior high? Uh, I don't know where they are. I think my dad has them. I have Hillary kicking a soccer ball in my backyard with Scotty Swift and, and whoever else was there. All the metal oh, yeah, kids. I remember Scotty. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> I think that would be fun to see. I think that's a a good thing to put in the liner notes of your oh, next album. I have that picture that my dad took of us, though. Yeah, outside the studio. Yeah, that's a good. We were like what, sixteen, maybe mm -hmm. something like that. No, yeah. I sat with um, Hillary's dad at the fair. That's real right. nice oh, guy. Wow. Yeah, we love him. Yeah, he's just an adorable man. Mm -hmm. He sat with me and my my best buddy Dan and Maya. And your kids. <laughs> Chicken donut too. Oh. I, I had a I had a white white powdered sugar off the baby's face. <laughs> so, uh, they kept sticking the <laughs> funnel cake in her mouth and she ah. train him young, train him young. <laughs> she loved me. Oh yeah. So I have a question for you guys. Mm. This conversation as it's divulged into funnel cakes and dancing, <laughs> is this what you expected? <laughs> we went into it with no expectations. So yes, you've met them. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I, I heard an interview with Lisa and Mike where they talked about hot sauce for 20 minutes. <laughs> yeah. And so we I got a bottle of scotch bonnet out of that. So yep. And I got the uh, the dog. Was it Mad Lucky Dog? dog. Yeah, Lucky Dog. I've got oh, yeah, two in dog. the refrigerator. Yeah, that's that yeah so good so good but you know when like you open one's hot sauce and then you lose it so you open the other one so we've got two of them in there right now yep. so um so yeah so we were talking about um sharing food stuff and so since hillary and i probably have not had time to cook or anything all i have to share are staples that are important to me and my pantry <laughs> If you're, if they you're, are. oh yeah. You oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Let's hear, let's hear, let's see it. A taco thing. <laughs> oh, which side is the right side up though? Uh huh. And there's also different kinds, but this one is our favorite taco spoon. Nice. You have to have a taco spoon. Is that for shoveling the tacos into my face or how does that work? <laughs> no, it's a little, no, it's, it's a catapult. You put the taco on, you catapult it to your mouth. Exactly. <laughs> we need this. In here. 
you're a gene, I'm gonna catapult you. Uh, <laughs> it's a gene Simmons catapult. I, my payola would be tacos. Totally. Yeah. <laughs> Others. I like tacos more than funnel cakes. Yeah, tacos are the best. Of course. So is doll. So these are other staples. Um, split peas. <laughs> ah. Both colors, yellow and green. Um. Yes. Hot sauce. <laughs> Ooh, what kind? What, what brand is that? You can't see it. This is the Matouche, Matouche. It's hot pepper sauce, though. Oh, nice. Pepper sauce to me, they all taste the same, to be honest. Like, I call it all Trini sauce because it, it all is red pepper, or that um, certain pepper. Um, hummus. Things Ooh. to make hummus. And uh, what are our beans. girls? Our girls, um, that band we like. Um, the Diddy Bops did a really fun uh -huh. video where one of their oh, yeah, moms, yeah. was it a grandmother? And she yeah, was making this. House. Yeah, and the girl like dumped the liquid out, but you want to save the liquid. It's true. That's so funny, you know, because in an interview I did a couple weeks ago, the Diddy Bops got brought up. Oh, that's huh. cool. Hi. <laughs> that's but like did they weird... tell you to save the liquid though? I, yeah. I bet they didn't. You, oh, did they tell you to save the liquid? I bet they didn't. Nobody thinks of that. Yeah, and you guys save the liquid. liquid. Road trip to Lisa's house. Totally. We'll pick yeah. up Hillary on the way. Yep. That was as good as I could do. I did have a green tomato. I told Hillary about this. That was there on the vine yesterday, and it's gone now. Bandits. We have yeah. backyard bandits that sometimes just make things. They disappear things. Yeah. I was trying to grow currants so I can make pies and jams, and the birds wow. love them. Mm. Mm. I can't save any of that stuff. Wow. Birds eat all of my plants. And this has been a, a really wet, wet summer. So none of my plants are growing good. So I'm giving up. Oh, shoot. Yeah. And what not, is this I water? Anyway. What is this wet summer thing you, that you bring up? I, none of the rest of us don't know what you're talking about. Okay. Moving out to the Midwest, it's like I never left Seattle. Wow. It rains as much as when I lived in Seattle. Wow. And um, I, I, I was taking care of a plant at the end where I work. We have these houses, these duplexes where we work, and there's plants out in front. And Dale has a little um, tomato plant. And so I was like checking the water on it because it's been raining so much. And I said, oh, there's this really cute plant over there. I'm going to take care of it. And I dumped the water out and, and I fixed it because it was raining so much. There was so much water in it. And my coworker came last night to work and told me that it's a weed. I Aww. have been taking care of a weed, a very pretty weed, but it's a weed. But it's the best thing that I'm growing on this porch is a weed. Well, then it's, it's special for you. Yeah. It's not a weed. I think a weed is subjective. I'm going to name know? it. Yeah, you should. I'm going to name it Weedy. Weedy, weedy Radio. <laughs> weedy, Woody, Woody, my plant. <laughs> The wet weedy weedy. <laughs> <laughs> That's why. <laughs> yeah, but it's raining nonstop for like weeks. I think we had like one sunny day. We didn't have a lot of um, tornadoes this year, so we're getting stuck with a lot of thunderstorms now. Because mm -hmm. the Midwest is known for tornadoes and stuff. We'll take a few of those storms off your hand, though. Yeah, which probably means a very cold winter. We had a very mild winter last year. And I think that's because everyone was home and it was COVID. And, but I think COVID had a positive you know, um, aspect in, in, as far as music goes because everyone's been so creative in making so much music. And everyone's been home. And look, it brought these two back together. Yes, yes. I don't, I'm sure it could have been in the works before COVID or maybe COVID did it, but it's one of the <laughs> best things to come out of COVID. <laughs> Continues. Da, 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 da. <laughs> COVID works in mysterious ways. Or no, it was all a secret plot all along. Just <laughs> pretended to break up the band and just bring it back ten years later, <laughs> eight years later. <clears throat> oh, oh yeah, I, I could never. That's yeah, so like before a really we, good my plot. timelines, my timelines are just. Hey, before we forget, let's get some important information out there. How can our viewers? get a copy of that wonderful joystick 
EP? Well, Mike, <laughs> as, you, as you mentioned, the wonderful joystick EP can be gotten from the checkeredhearts.com. And then through there, we have a link where it'll take you um, to, you know, there's, there's many different digital sites, you know, that people can stream from or purchase from like, you know, yeah. Apple iTunes, Amazon music, what is it? Spotify, all those bits and bobs. But in addition, for those people that are still very tactile, like me and want to touch it, yes. you can get it from, um, uh, through our website, it'll take you directly to the link of our, of our record label. Mm-hmm. Very cool. Yeah, and very so cool. The la- and the record label is on the back here. Nice. And, you know, with a name like the Checker Hearts, you get all sorts of good graphics out of it. I'm not holding back. I'm not going to reserve my best questions for the 24th or whatever okay. day it is we get together. How okay. did you guys come up with the name, the Checkered Hearts? We were just throwing around different ideas. Hmm. Um, and then I was just like looking at different, I, I was thinking about things visually. And then that, because I was, I always think in like visual media as well. And so it was just like, oh, that would be kind of a cool thing. And I think we just immediately like settled on it pretty quick. Mm-hmm. That totally works. And you get all those great graphics out of it. I've, I've seen you guys wearing checkered clothes and you've got all, all the, the gear and everything. It's perfect. perfect. Well, we wanted something that kind of, I mean, that really fit us that there was like no question. You know, it's like, it fit yeah. Exactly. And what had happened is New Shoe since the time, because we kind of toyed with keeping the name just because we had built up and we have the, you know, old, um, releases that you mentioned but since the time that we stopped putting out music with the name new shoe somebody else did start putting out music with the name new shoe what and it's a canadian band and they're somewhat kind of like electronic in a way hmm. and so it was just it was kind of a sign for us that we wanted to just like okay let's start fresh hmm. um, and so that's where we decided we would come up with something different and here we are you know, that's very gracious. A smaller person would have gotten the new shoe lawyers and just sicked them on those guys. You guys are very gracious. It wasn't worth it, really, to like, yeah. I mean, you know, we have more important things to do with our time. And it was like, it, we we're happy to kind of reinvent it in a way. Yeah. Um, and particularly because we knew that we really wanted to release Joystick. We never really properly released it. I mean, we mm. made some CDs and we kind of, I think we gave away most of them. Um, but we never put it on, you know, iTunes. We never put it digitally anywhere for, you know, proper distribution. Hmm. So going into that, we knew that, you know, we just, we don't want to use the same name of a band and come up with something called Joystick where, you know, one of our fans that may have already had the older version that we kind of gave away for free, um, may have been confused. So it was also a way to, you know, be able to release this mm-hmm. with a new name, <clears throat> with new tracks mixed yes. and mastered yeah. and, the and new stuff. So mm-hmm. it all made sense, sense to do it. And and we also um, decided that we wanted to redo one of our old new shoe songs, but slightly differently. Mm-hmm. And so we did So Long Maybe, that's our bonus track, and we sped it up. I think my guitars are a little bit, well, a lot more aggro. Um, and then I put distortion on... Um, Lisa's bass, you know, and so it sounds different than the original. It's fantastic. It's excellent. I'm going to pause real quick. I'm going to stop recording and I'm going to restart recording for part two. Okay. Okay. I'll stick around. <laughs> 